The place is called Glow. As many times as I've passed this, I've wanted to get in here. We finally meet Connie. How are you? I'm good. How are well, you? she's part art gallery and part commercial sign person and whatever else you want to, you know, get her to do. Hair so look, if you look in the window, uh, you see some of the fine neon stuff. And of course, the more funky it is, motel sign better, and everything. Right? <laughs> right? Let's go in. It's okay. called Glow. And uh, by appointment, you can get in here. But every so often, you can find the door actually open. Right. Look at this. A skull with... It's an it's nice. angelic skull. And <laughs> look at this stuff. I just... Sparkle. What is it we all love about neon? Is it our childhood? Or is it's, it just the fact that it's bright and shiny? I think... Um, I think people are kind of like crows and magpies. We're attracted to bright, shiny objects. <laughs> right? Love that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you look over here. We might find an antelope running yeah. around. And, uh, well, we can have them in the corner. Yeah, and uh, and the uh, old, beer sign. Oh, beer signs are. Only beer sign yeah. from uh, Seattle area. That's big. Yeah. It is funky and crazy in here. And she does some incredible work. You're in a, a bunch of places around town, but yes. for instance. Um, I have uh, some of my work up at 42 Degrees North, um, Scarlo's Gallery, um, let's see, She Company, um, Funky Junk, uh, several other places wow. I can't think of right All now. All our favorite places. Let's head this way okay. as we go back. This is sort of her, Connie's workshop. Yeah. I, th I can see it like the old, uh, Yes. The old advertising yes. things yep. and uh, anything that's advertisement, I love. So how long <laughs> you been doing neon? It's kind of a lost art. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody can do right. it. Right? Yeah, I've been doing it for 24 years. Um, it's definitely a hard trade to learn. It doesn't come easy. Um, I feel like I'm still learning how to do it. All right, for <laughs> uh, us new fights, uh -huh. then it, it's a gas. Uh, neon. Uh, neon is a gas. Oh, I, I use neon and argon gases for what I do. Um, and sometimes you just have to yeah. breathe. Okay. <laughs> All right, go grab one of your pieces. Okay. And... There it is. This is a part of some of my work. Um, I'm going to show you some of my work. This is something that I'm working on right now. Right. I'll bet you have five projects you're working on right now. Um, this project is a Hanya mask. That's, it's a Japanese mask, um, and I'm making it for a tattoo shop in Colorado. <laughs> if you can dream it, Connie can do it. I, and she's right it. around the corner. You don't need to go to any big city. All right, here it is. Tell us what you're doing. Okay, so I'm taking a piece of glass that's already got some bins in it. Um, I like my fires with an electrical spark. I use natural gas and air to make my fire. I put the glass really, really, really hot. So what's that doing to it other than making it easier to bend? Um, it just makes it pliable to bend. That's pretty much what the heat is. And if you do it too much, it <laughs> it'll collapse. <breaks. laughs> the glass will collapse. So that's on one of the reasons why it's hard. Plus, she's designing at the same time, and I think we have to do this. And uh, but once you make a really great one. Uh, they're immortal almost, you just have to not break them. Right. And they are easily breakable. They are very easily breakable. So people want to come down here or, or check out your stuff on the internet, what do they do? Um, they can check me out at uh, Instagram, it's Glow Neon Lights on Instagram, Glow Neon Lights on Facebook, and uh, GlowNeonLights.com is my website. Alright, so. Connie. <laughs> We're going to do more with you along the way. I, I know so. you got some projects you're looking into, and we're going to talk yeah. about them. But, Connie, thanks for letting us come in your shop. You bet. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it.